YouTube, it's your girl Stephanie and I'm back with another video. Today, video will be about natural hair, okay? As you can see, your girl hair is growing and flourishing, okay? Do you see? Yes, okay? And when y'all, if you can go back, what, three months ago, <laughs> I ain't have no hair on the side. It was just a little bud up here. <laughs> So, that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. And talking about some of the things, products that I am um, using. So, when I first Big Chop, four months ago, I started using Cantu. I used Cantu before when I Big Chopped. Um, but I wasn't dyed. I had my, just my regular hair color. And it worked great. So, that's what I went back to. Well, when I ran out of it I decided to you know try something different so I purchased a uh, Jamaican mango and lime which smells amazing I have a tangle shampoo and a conditioner um, protein conditioner which is good especially if you have colored hair bleached hair you want it to stay moisturized and you want it to grow and those two products do that for me um, I also Still use my Shea Moistures. Shea Moistures is just a awesome um, company that specializes in thick and curly hair. Okay, you want that natural curl pattern. You want hair that um, is healthy and smells good. This should be your go-to. I'm telling you. But like I said, I still use my Cantu. Um, you know, I just use the daily moisturizer. Daily moisturizing and putting something on your hair to keep your hair hydrated should be a must. Um, with natural nistas and also if you're bleached, okay, if you have bleached your hair, um, dyed it, whatever, put any kind of chemical on your hair, you should, you know, have a daily moisturizer. Now, my routine is. Once I shampoo and condition my hair, okay, I, I take a towel and I damp, make sure my hair is nice and, you know, damp still. Then I use grease, just regular old hair grease, okay. The Indian Herb Hair um, Grease by Blue Magic will grow your hair. I've seen it in my, my daughters, um, my three daughters, because they're natural, it works, okay. Um, especially in my little girl hair because I really don't put weave in her hair. She's only three, so this works for her. Um, so after I do that, I will let my hair dry. It's moisturized, of course, at that point. So well, my scalp is. So I add my daily moisturizer. I add um, Shea Moistures to that so it's creamy, you know. Um, or even like a protein, just like an extra protein to strengthen my hair, okay? And that's the first day. The next day, instead of doing the same thing over again, I'll just grab an oil. Um, Jamaican Mango and Lime, they have an oil. They have a whole line of products that smell amazing. Um, or just some oil. Also, I have another, um oil that I put in between braids when I'm doing my daughter's cornrows and that's really it um the myth that you have to have all these products to actually grow your hair and they have to be natural products that's how I was when I first big chop so I was buying the eco styler I was buying all of Shea Moisture's the whole entire line so you know that can be expensive um I was doing all of that but I've come to learn and come you know, because it's trial and error, you know, um, that less is better. It's just a routine. It has to be a routine. You have to wash your hair and you have to keep it moisturized. Now, with my daughters on their channel, um, they show me the aloe. So that's what they're doing. Um, check them out, Patience and Malia. Subscribe to their channel. Um, we appreciate your support. All right. So, and they're both natural. Malia has more curly, um, I'll say 4B 
patience is definitely a 4C like me. So our hair is more thicker and more coarse, but the aloe seemed to work great for Malia's hair. Um, also rice water. I've been looking that up. That's that does good for your hair. So being natural, I truly just believe it's a process and it doesn't take a whole lot of um products to grow your hair. Okay. A lifesaver with natural hair is this baby here. <laughs> this sponge. Um when I was short, I did use this side. A lot in a lot of my videos I would use this side but I always like that uh, look with the spikes the spikes so now that my hair is you know longer I just do it like so and boom at my little edge control by Cantu of course <laughs> Um, people outside my window talking, have a whole conversation. Um, my baby hair has never really stayed anyway. So what I do is I just take my can to my edge control and I brush my hair up. That's what I do, y'all. And that's just it. <laughs> that's it. And, you know, if I want to wear a wig, I, you know, put on a wig. But today is definitely just a natural day for me. That's what I'm feeling. Um, so, if you are thinking about big chopping your hair, I say go for it. But make sure you have confidence in yourself. Um... And the journey, if you go through it and embrace it, instead of going through it, hating it, I promise you, you will grow to have the confidence that you need for yourself. And every person that comes in contact with you will feed off of that. They will feel that, oh my God, she's so confident in herself. Oh my God, you know, um, they come to me all the time with questions or whatever, but it's a process, okay? So... Yeah, go for it. I would definitely suggest you do. All right. So, peace and love to all of you. See you in the next video. All right. Peace.